Hi, uh, today I am giving you a little bit of an update on my orthopaedic boots that I've talked about on here before and a new pair of orthopaedic trainers that I picked up yesterday. So you might remember from my previous videos, my orthopaedic boots, um, I'll pop the link in the comments below in case you want a little recap. Um, so just to remind you, um, I was given some plain black orthopaedic boots. <clears throat> I hated them, they really upset me. Um, a very kind and lovely friend of mine offered to paint them up for me. Uh, it's the same girl that does all of my tattoos, so I was more than happy for her to do that. And they ended up looking like this. <clears throat> um, so I get so many compliments on these boots. Uh, nearly every day someone will comment on these horrible orthopedic boots, which to be fair are quite beautiful now. Um, people ask me where I got them from and they're always really surprised when I explain that they're orthopedic boots that were then custom painted for me. Um, I think the the bright patterns and the colours just really detract, detract, distract from the ugliness of the actual boot itself. So Caroline uh, did an amazing job, um, and I will link her some of her accounts below because her work is stunning, and you need to see it. Um, so I'll link that below as well. But yeah, she did a fantastic job. Um, People comment on them all the time and as it is, since I got them back painted, um, I have worn them pretty much every single day. Um, if I've been around the house at home I haven't been wearing them but when I've been out, if I've been into town, if I've been to work, um, so I have really worn them every day and um, they are starting to get pretty worn now. Um, in fact, I had to have both of the soles replaced on them. Uh, they're already dirty, but I had both of the soles replaced on them this week and I had the insoles repaired because the insoles had split. Um, so they have had a huge amount of use. I don't know if you can see sort of the wear on the inside of them. They have been worn a lot. And my orthotist actually commented on Thursday that he thought I was walking a lot better, better than I have done in a long time. So um, that's really good. Um, when I first started wearing these, they had to go back for a repair and adjustments because um, they had given me a huge sort of blister the size of a tennis ball on the heel of my foot. So to stop this happening again, basically my foot was sliding around in the boot. It wasn't uh, staying still. So what they did was, I don't know if you can see, they sewed, sewed the insole, or the tongue, sorry, they sewed the tongue to the boot um, so that it doesn't slide around and that my foot stays still. Um, so those adjustments meant that I haven't had a blister since, a touch wood. Um, so that was really good. Um, at that last appointment when I had the boots adjusted, I was offered a second pair. Um, I said no at first because when I've been offered a second pair in the past, all I've ever been allowed to have is an identical pair of boots. So I would have then had these that have been painted for me, plus another just plain black pair. And I didn't want that, so I said no. And he said, well, did you know that you can have trainers? And I said, oh, well, okay, brilliant. So he showed me uh, their catalogue. Uh, they have the orthotics department and he showed me the very limited options that were available for me that would work with my feet and the adjustments that I have to have. Um, so I picked a pair of trainers, there were about 18 colours to choose from and there were, I think each boot could have, I think up to three different colours on it. Um, I went for just two, I picked up two and I have waited about six to eight weeks for them. Um, I got a call at the start of this week to say that I could come and collect them. So I had an appointment on Thursday to go and see my orthotist uh, where I could collect the boots. Now, these are supposed to be trainers. Now trainers to me are, well everyone knows what trainers, you know what trainers are. Um, these aren't trainers. These are my boots 
but pink. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, as I was allowed to pick the colours, I went for pink. I went for a light pink and a dark pink. Um, I didn't bother to go for a third colour, I just went for the two. So, these are my boots. Uh, they have Velcro fastenings, because disabled people can't do shoelaces. Obviously I'm joking. Um, I don't know why they're Velcro instead of laces. Maybe to make them look more trainery. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, to be fair, it's easy, a lot easier for me to get my feet in and out of these because the whole of the front of the shoe comes down. Um, so it's really easy for me to get my foot in there and then Velcro them up. It's it's quite handy. Um, yeah, so I went for this baby pink and then a darker pink for the sides. Now, as you can see, they are built up. For me, you can see this one um, is supposed to I'll put them on the right way around. This one counteracts the way my foot turns. This one counteracts my leg length discrepancy. Um, there is a big difference in them, but the way they're built, that once they're on their level, so it all works out. Um, so yeah. These are the trainers. They're not trainers, they shouldn't be allowed to call them trainers. Um, and if you look at them as just a pair of pink boots, they are, they're not that bad. They're not dissimilar to wedge boots that I had when I was younger, like the Spice Girls. And if I'm being completely realistic, they're not dissimilar in size and shape to these boots that light up. Um, that I got last year. Um, they're really not. They're a very similar shape. They're, you know, they're clunky, they're big wedgy boots. They're not sort of dissimilar to these trainers. So actually, they're maybe not as unusual or not as hideous as I first thought when I first laid my eyes on them. Um, I've worn them for the first time today, I wore them into town, we went to pick up new glasses um, and they're really stiff at the moment, I need to break them in and um, they have caused me some foot pain. Uh, they say to try them for a sort of 7 to 10 days um, and if you're still not happy or if they're still uncomfortable, if they're causing you problems or pain then to go back. Um, I'm going to try and wear them as much as possible between now and sort of the next couple of weeks just to really try and break them in because ideally um, these will be perfect for me to take to Florida when I go. Um, much better than black boots. I think these will just be a little bit more fun, easier to take off and put on with hot swollen feet as well. So hopefully I'll break those in quite nicely and they won't need to be adjusted. Um, I did notice when I had them on earlier the tongue was starting to sort of slip down the boot and sort of crumple up like this and um, you can see just after having worn them once uh, where it's all creased here this is where it crumpled down and sort of started rubbing my toes a little bit and um, it's done the same on this one um, and that's just from one wear just for a couple of hours not probably less than four hours I'd, I've worn them for so and already sort of at the back they're starting to cave in on themselves a little bit um my black boots actually do this as well um here and um, that's um it's just the way I walk it's the way that my feet are so they sort of they're always trying to collapse in on themselves so it is a little bit more noticeable on the pink trainers especially as I've worn them for less than four hours um so I will see how I get on with them now, whilst I'm being a sensible grown-up about it, they're not that bad, um, it could be a lot worse. These aren't too hideous, they look a lot like sort of your average wedgie trainer boots, I suppose, but I still hate them. Of course I'm going to wear them, I'm trying to be sensible about my options now um 
I've been wearing the black boots, I've been walking better and that obviously is better for me, it causes me sort of less problems everywhere else but it still is so stressful for me having to put these on and worry that people are going to look at me, that people are staring at me um, and thinking oh god look at her stupid shoes and I still have that fear and I think there's just something instilled in me since the first pair of these horrible boots I had to have when I was a child. Something that just makes me want to rebel against them. Um, but, like I said, I am trying to be sensible about it. Um, I am accepting that they're the best option for me, they're the best option for my feet, they're the thing that is going to help me uh, walk the best. Um, they're pink, they're colourful, they're to be fair, they are very me, I suppose. Um, they're very me. And as orthopaedic footwear goes, the two pairs I now have are the best options that I have had since I was a very small child. So you can't really fight against that. Um, I am grateful, I'm really grateful that there are these options for me actually, um, that I can wear boots that make me walk to the best of my ability I'm very grateful for that don't get me wrong um there's just something about them and the situation that makes me feel a bit hard done by I suppose um but sensible adult head on um I will wear them I have to wear them because they help me walk the best that I can so it would be stupid for me not to wear them, especially as these are actually really cool. And like I said, people talk about them all the time. Um, so those are my new orthopedic boots. Sorry, trainers. These are my new orthopedic trainers. They're not trainers, they're boots. Let's, let's get real. Um, but they're as close to trainers as the orthotics department can supply. So, brilliant. Um, and that's it. As an update about my orthopaedic boots and a little show off of my new orthopaedic trainers. Um, if you've got any questions, please get in touch below. As always, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up or don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you can see all my other posts at www.estellasaurus.co.uk and I'll see you soon. Bye.